these kids are making 30,000 a month crypto mining, uh, they probably invested like $400,000 in equipment. So even though it sounds good, that is some very expensive equipment behind them. And they did not say that in this article. Those kids definitely did not have $400,000. They had someone backing them and they are just the managers of that equipment. And yes, there is a lot of money that you can make crypto mining, uh, but you also have to understand the cost, the work, the dangers, and don't let this headline inspire you with false dreams. There was a huge investment behind them getting to $30,000 a month. How profitable is crypto mining? Uh, very, very profitable. It's like one of those things when you realize it, you feel like you missed out, but it's really not too late. At least I hope not. Uh, and I might jump into a little bit of mining just because I like other streams of income. And I'm going to show you what I've been looking at now before we jump into all of that. There's also concerns about uh, renewable energy and, you know, the global planet. So if you are going to get into crypto mining, try to or at least at least consider using renewable energy just because Bitcoin has a bad look to it. So we don't want any of that negative news around it. ETH moved from proof of work where you need these miners to proof of stake. Well, at least they're in the process of that. A lot of these miners are, you know, just going to shut down. They're going to move towards coins that they can mine. And though, uh, and those are getting less popular. Obviously, Bitcoin, it's going to be out there. It's going to be uh, available. Uh, but, you know, uh, things could change. So you would be taking some risk if you're investing in crypto mining. But if you survive a year, you're going to make some money. Let's take a look at the numbers. So here we go. I was looking up this uh, Bitmain at miner V9 because it was really cheap online and I wanted to see how much value I'd be getting out of it. So this is ASIC miner value has nothing to do with full value, Dan, but a pretty good site to run the numbers. So if we if the cost of our electricity is 12 cents per kilowatt hour, these are the prices we're going to get. So if you go to this website, I guess on average in like the big cities in America, you'd probably be paying 12 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity. And if you don't know your price, Google it. Just Google it, cost of electricity in your city, and then it should show you the price per kilowatt hour. Now, electricity is expensive, but there are these data centers available where you could send your crypto miners and then they would host it for you. They would maintain it. They'd run it and you wouldn't have the noise and heat at home. And you would even be saving money in electricity because they might have a better system, especially for commercial and business electricity purposes. Those rates are significantly lower than residential electricity costs. So jumping back into this, I saw this Antminer V9 on Facebook for very cheap, and that's because it's useless and it's gonna lose you money unless you can get electricity for free. And you can see that uh, the profitability takes in the income, how much you'd make per day, minus how much you'd spend in electricity for that day, and then your total profit. If you intend in buying an older machine, you should really understand how much profit can you actually be making or would you be losing money? And directly here at asicminervalue.com, you can see the profitability of all these different miners. These are all actual miners and they're not GPUs. We're going to get to that a little bit later, but yeah, you can see the profitability for these ASIC miners and the older they get, they just start losing money. And jumping here, uh, Tom's Hardware has this good list of GPU mining and the cost. So they calculate the eBay price for September 21, the graphics card, the mining performance, the daily profit and days to break even. Days to break even just means when are you going to get 100% ROI. So if you invest $293, you're going to make $293 in 166 days which is really good because that is a 200% ROI. That's like a little over a 200% if you are mining with that card. So you can kind of see, I'm probably going to scroll this pretty fast. I actually got a GeForce RTX 3080 
And realistically, yeah, I get five to six dollars per day mining. I tried out mining for a while. I did not enjoy it just because I don't have the proper setup. It's in my apartment. It's loud. It's hot. I have to pay for air conditioning. And yeah, you, you really got to blast that AC because the machines get hot. And uh, it's not something I personally want to do. Investing is much easier or sending or setting up an actual mining rig in a data center. So let's take a look at the highest ROI, the Ant Miner E9, three gigahash. And just so you know, all these miners, they're sold out. They're sold out because Bitcoin has been hot and people can make a lot of income from. Them. And you can see here that you'd be making the income of a full-time job. That, that's about $60,000 a year. That is a good job. And it's just, it's printing money. I would love to get one of these set up just because, uh, you know, Bitcoin is going to be around. At least that's what I believe. And I would love to make that much passive income every year. And you can see down here where to buy at bitmain.com. Or let's see, they, do, they don't have it available. There's no machine actually I looked earlier. The only thing they do have available is the Antminer S19J Pro, 100 tera hash per second. Uh, at least that's what I think that means. And it's $9,300. So let's jump back to the profitability calculator and let's see how much we'd be making with that type of machine at uh, our home residence. So that was the S19J, 19J Pro, 100 tera hash and we'd be making $22.91 per day. So let's use a calculator, $9,300, that's the cost of the machine, divided by 2281, was that the right? 2291, and that's 405 days. In 405 days, about 13 months, we'd make a 100% return on our money. That is good value and uh, I really don't know how to express this better. Uh, you would probably make a full 100% return on your money in one year because you also have to factor in the cost of the mining rig. So after a year, let's say you make, uh, oh, it's actually better than that. So the cost of the machine is $9,300. And at least with this profitability calculator with our co uh, electricity costs set to 10 cents per kilowatt hour, we would make that back in a year. And that's a 100% return on investment. Plus we still have the mining rig, which is which also has value. So if the question is, is crypto mining profitable? It is, it's very profitable. Additionally, if you are going to be mining cryptocurrency, there's a lot of places where you can earn passive income on it just by holding it in a certain place, whether it's like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, uh, I think even Dogecoin in some places, and you just have to search for it. I do have a list of places that I use, and that's just like Bitcoin and Ethereum. I've been mining Flux and Cadena, or Cadena, I, I don't know how to say it. And that's going directly through Coin Metro. There's another video that I might make on that in the near future, just because I have a lot of information on it. So if you are going to be earning uh, cryptocurrency, consider looking into staking or ways you can earn interest on the crypto you are holding at least just a little bit just for that extra easy passive income. And this video was sponsored by Pionex. Do your trading on Pionex. I actually do trade and use the crypto trading bots on Pionex. You can't withdraw every coin on there. They are a broker for Wobi and Binance and there is no KYC, which means you have full access to the coins that are already trading on Binance and Wobi without having to go through KYC. So that benefits you there. And the trading fees are the lowest out there. It's 0.1% uh, by on Huobi and Binance, which is very low, but Pionex is half of that at 0.05%. And if you want to get your full value, trade on Pionex. Crypto mining versus crypto investing. Now this is kind of a hard decision because you don't know what's going to happen, but crypto mining would create a consistent source of income. Crypto investing, super high risk. Now, if you were lucky and invested in crypto, 
early 2020, you've probably 10 X your investment. That would have got you more money than investing in a crypto miner. But now that things kind of uh, grew a lot and things are going sideways for the most part of 2021, Crypto mining does sound a lot better. Now, I can't predict the future, but it always helps to diversify your portfolio. So you do what makes sense for you if you want to start crypto mining. Try a little bit at home, get comfortable with the process before investing a lot of money because it really helps to understand how everything works before committing a significant amount of money and uh, burning your house down. So be very careful. You have to understand electrical fires, getting enough electricity to the devices, keeping them cool, getting insurance, potentially having some other service do this for you, uh, managing that heat and noise. So it helps to start small and then scale up. And yes, crypto mining is profitable, but there's no guarantee that it will continue to be. So there is some risk in that, but with the rewards, the payouts, the ROI, it's a good risk. It's a, a risk that works highly in your favor, but you know, not financial advice. These are just my opinions of what I think about crypto mining after doing research on it on the internet. So if you wanna get started mining cryptocurrency, you can do that, just look up what to mine, uh, check out your computer, see if your computer is more optimized for CPU mining, hard drive mining, GPU mining, and you can actually get started really easily. I was mining on NiceHash with a MacBook Pro back in uh, 2017 and was making very little money, but it happened to be in a location that was very cold. I wasn't paying for electricity and it wasn't my MacBook Pro. <laughs> so there are things you can do. I'm not gonna say where I did that, but my friends can figure out where. And uh, even though I made a couple bucks from it, that turned into a lot of money because that was in Bitcoin and that was Bitcoin several years ago. So as you can imagine, the value increased a lot. Uh, yeah, that's just another thing to consider because who knows what the value can be for mining crypto, even if it's just a couple bucks today, a couple years from now, could be worth a lot more. If you are going to mine crypto, do it on a machine that doesn't have any of your personal data because you have to provide a lot of exceptions to your antivirus and you don't know what that software is actually gonna do to your machine. So it really helps to have no personal information on your computer if you are going to mine crypto and just have that computer just be for mining and video games. Whenever you're not playing video games, you mine crypto. Whenever you're not mining crypto, you play some video games. And with that, uh, I hope you got your full value for today.